the day, I just want to review this compound angle stuff we've been working on. So that tomorrow we are ready to take our test. So we're going to start out with drilling. And what I want to look at problem where we have our entry, exit. Front view, given that this angle here is probably nice here. We won't give you the answer. End view. Our center to center distance here, 0.4 inches. And our thickness, one inch. What that means is if I'm drawing the box from that, This is 1.2 inches, 0.4 inches. I'm going to ask you to find angle of rotation here. Come off of this triangle here that's 0.4 inches over here. What function are we going to use to find R? <coughs> tangent. Tangent. R is the inverse tangent. Oh, which one goes on top? Over the one. Four or eighteen by one. Eighteen point four three. There's our angle rotation. Well, mostly because I'm going to need it for our next uh, angle, for the angle of tilt. I want to get the length of the bore there, the length of that path. How do I find the length? Perfect. That three dimensional Pythagorean theorem. Square root, 1.2 squared plus 0.4 squared plus 1 squared. 1.612. All our other dimensions are in inches, so that is in inches as well. That's that length. Our angle of tilt, T, is right there. I know that this length here is the 1.00, and this is that 1.612 length of bore that we just found. What trig function are we going to use to find T? Side. Very good. 1.00 over 1.2. Fifty-one point six six degrees. 
Not so bad? We're going to look at one of these intersection of angular surface problems. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to give you that this angle over here, 31 degrees, this angle over here, 23 degrees. What that means is, I'm looking at this from the front, That's 31 degrees. Three degrees. This one's the 31 degrees. Now, I want you to find draw this in underneath here. This is R, my angle of rotation. And I'm going to have you find this angle here is going to be our T. So our T is going to be down on bottom now. So remember, we did this basically. We found box. That all fit in. Find that box, we need some dimensions. I'm going to guess a dimension for this depth here. I'll call it 10 millimeters. I'll use that to find these two dimensions here, which I'm going to call A and B. Dimension A is found out of this triangle here. What trig function involves the two sides I have there? Tangent. Tangent of 23 degrees equals the opposite side of 10 over the adjacent side of A. So I'll put this over 1 so I can cross multiply and divide. 1 times 10 is 10, divided by the tangent of 23 degrees, is 23.56 millimeters. Over on this other side, we have a similar situation. Tangent of 31 degrees equals the opposite side of 10 over the adjacent side of B. That over 1, so we can cross multiply and divide. 1 times 10 is 10, divided by the tangent of 31 degrees. 16.64. What this means now is we can draw our box off of this. So 
This is the ten million. Six. Our angle of rotation is this angle right here, found if we cut across the bottom like that. Our right angle. Four and 23.56. What are we gonna do to find a R? Very good. Inverse tangent of the opposite side, 16.64, or for the adjacent side, 23.56. Gives us 35.23 degrees. That's our angle of rotation. Also want my angle of tilt T, which is going to be down on bottom here this time. But to get T, I need to know, even though it's meaningless in this problem because I picked the 10 millimeter depth, I still need a length here so that I can use that ratio of sides to get T. So that length, square root of. 5, 6 squared, 4 squared plus 10 squared. Thirty point five three millimeters. So now to find T, triangle right here. T is down there. 30.53 is the hypotenuse, and I have my 10 millimeters is the depth I chose over there. What trig function are we using for T? For sine, we got it. Inverse sine of the opposite side of 10 over the hypotenuse of With it. Two inches, four inches, one foot. This angle down here, which I call angle A. And the length of that path. You tell me what you want to find first. 
Let's find the length. Either one, length or r, could be found first. You're right. So for length, what we're going to put in here? Square root of? Point four squared plus. Point four squared plus one point two squared plus one point four squared. Three point oh seven. There's our length. For R, what are we going to use? First tangent, very good. Point two over two point four. I believe is 26.56. And T, or sorry, in this case we're not finding T, we're finding A. The opposite side, which is 1.4, over the hypotenuse of 3.027. Okay, so let's see what's going on. 27.55 degrees. Easy enough, right? We're going to need to find our rotation and tilt. Our rotation, get this from the top, it's just going to be this angle right here. Find that, we need to find some dimensions. Once again, I'm going to call this depth 10 millimeters. I'll find dimensions A and B here. For dimension A, this is just a tangent. 18 degrees equals 10 over A. That over 1, so we can cross, multiply, and divide. 
1 times 10 is 10, divided by the tangent of 18 degrees, give us 30.78. For B, in the 30 degrees equals 10 over B. We're going to put that over one so we can cross multiply it by. Times 10 is 10 divided by the tangent of 30 is 17.32. Now, from that triangle, we can find R using what function? First tangent. The opposite side, 17.321, over the adjacent side of 30.78. I'm going to keep it consistent. I'm just going to call it 30.17. This is 29.37 degrees. T now is going to be more difficult to find. Find T, remember one of the first things we have to do is we have to find this side across here to make that right triangle. Right triangle, this is R. 29.37 degrees. This is still the 30.78 degrees. We're going to find this length here. I'm going to call x. What trig function are we going to utilize for that? Right. Sine of 29.37 degrees. That opposite side of x over the hypotenuse of 30.78. That over 1, and we will cross multiply and divide. 30.78 times the sine, 29.37 degrees. 15.10 meters is that length. Now, the reason we needed that was if we look up here, our angle of tilt comes off of this triangle here. This side, the 15.10 that we found. This side is the 10 millimeters that we chose. That gives us a triangle like this. This is our 10 millimeters that we started with. Millimeter. This angle right there is T. How am I going to find T here? First tangent, the opposite side of 10 over the adjacent side of 15.10.
So I want to find my rotation and tilt again here. If I'm given from my front view that this angle here is 44 degrees, side view This angle here is 12 degrees. There's another spot where we pick a dimension. So I'm going to choose the thickness of this to be 10 millimeters. So that means this is 10 millimeters. We're looking at that green triangle there. 4 degrees, this part's the 10 millimeters, this is my side A that I'm trying to find. What trig function is that? Tangent, tangent over 34 degrees. A over 10. That over 1, so we can cross multiply and divide. 10 times the tangent of 34. Divided by 1, of course, it's 6.75. Distance. That's this side over here. Now over here, we're looking at this triangle. Maximum degrees, this is my 10 here. I'm looking for side B. First, once again, that's a tangent. Tangent of 12 degrees equals B over 10. We'll put that over 1 so we can cross multiply and divide. 10 times the tangent of 12 degrees divided by 1. 2.13 here millimeters. So I have 2.13 millimeters there. So R, the inverse tangent, 0.13 over 6.75. Seventeen point five one degrees. Now again, the length here is hypothetical. Get rid of our ten squared plus six point seven five squared plus two point one three squared. Twelve point two five for that length. Well, then my T the inverse cosine of my chosen depth of ten over that length. Twelve point two five. It was thirty four point nine five degrees. Now I mentioned this is just a theoretical length because it's based off of my assumption that this is 10 millimeters thick here. If I had given you a thickness here though, if I maybe had told you it's 0.9 inches or whatever, then that's a real length. Okay, last example.
I need this dimension here. Need this dimension here. That means is I have my box. looking at describing this surface here but really all I need is the box that contains that surface that The line here is our surface that we're looking at. So this is here is 0.9 inches. This is 0.6. My angle of rotation is still down here on the bottom of that box. And as always, that this 0.9 and 1.4 is opposite and adjacent is going to be the opposite side of 0.9 over the adjacent side of 1.4. Okay, it's 32.74 degrees. Please even notice when I put that in the calculator, I didn't even put in 0.9 and 1.4, I put in 9 and 14. Not the length of the sides that matters, it's the ratio of the length. 9 to 14 is the same as 0.9 to 1.4. Now T is going to be this angle up here. Find T though, I'm going to need that edge. Length. That three dimensional Pythagorean theorem again. 0.4 squared plus 0.9 squared plus 0.6 squared. It's 1.769. So for T, I have the 1.769, the height of 0.6. It means I'm going to use which function? First cosine. Adjacent side the 0.6 over the hypotenuse of 1.769. Give me 70.17 What if I wanted this angle down here? A. Well, that's.
That's all I've got for the day. Only thing I want